All right, to our next story. You know, to be a poor man is hard, but to be a poor people in a supposed land of plenty like ours must be the very bottom of hardship. To say that every day is enduring life and living is understanding, understating the obvious, if you understand me. But an All Progressives Congress APC support group known as Booth to Booth has called on the federal government to roll out a comprehensive social protection program to ameliorate the hardship occasioned by the fuel subsidy removal. The intervention, if done in line with global best practices, would capture the poor and most vulnerable and so lift them out of grating poverty, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they are speaking my mind because I think I've said it here many times. Uh, really, we need a comprehensive um, mm. yeah, um, package. Um, 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 the subsidy is gone. The president, uh, and the president has removed it. But apart from that, a lot of things must, you know, quickly come in place in order to cushion story. the effect. There ought to be a story mm -hmm. to go with. Okay. There's a story to go with the they need to produce it. Okay. Uh, Tony, I know that uh, we, we have a story. Okay, behind I, I, I should have seen that. Okay. I'm sorry. We, let's go. Uh, let's take the story that underscores what we're trying to tell you. Please come with me. People are going through a rough time and we felt it is necessary for us to contribute our own, own quota in alleviating the suffering of the people. We just restricted to the party, but to the entire Nigerian nation. The APC government, led by President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, is not a government that is unconscious of the need and desire of Nigerians generally. And that is why this is one government that has done things across party boards. Again, I'm sorry we missed that. T Tony, pictures don't tell lies. Yeah, I salute them for doing this. Nigerians, majority of Nigerians need this, you know, because truly, as we said, a lot of Nigerians are going through tough times right now. You know, because um, we go to the marketplace on a daily basis, and the message from there is not, it's not palatable. You know, so if government, it's good to remove subsidy, but there must be a follow-up. Mm. Apart from transport, apart from transportation, CNG, and buses and all that, the one that matters to people mostly is that market, that you can go and come out with something. Mm. You know, um, these days you walk into a supermarket, maybe 100k, and you can't even buy anything. You know, so they, they, I think it, it, it will get into that point where we need to regulate prices. And I think we're being, Nigerians are beginning to be wicked unto ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. you don't blame government. I, I, there are some things. Is this us? Is this really it's us? us. We have lost, sincerely speaking, it's like we've lost our humanity. And at times they blame government for this. There are, there are some that government cost, but there are some too that we, as the people, cost ourselves. Leveraging on you know, the um, inefficiency of government. We, you go to some places and they, they kind of price you, and they will tell you it's the cost of, I mean, foreign exchange. Something that I don't even relate to. We are beginning to be wicked, on to, you know, and it cannot help this country. We can't blame government all the time. Yeah. We, can't, we blame ourselves too because we are contributing to this. Yeah. You know, um, we need this. I salute, uh, you know, this group um, of uh, Nigerians. Booth. Yes, because, and I, I want to implore government to take a cue from this. The, I, I don't know, we used to have a price re um, regulatory bodies in those days. It's, well, you know, because I think well, price regulation board. I, I think we need it now. Something needs to, to be done because what you buy in Nigeria yesterday, the price at which you bought it yesterday, it's not the same today. Mm. So what is happening? Something has to be given. Yeah. There must be a check. You, know? you cannot continue around the country. Like, people are really going through hard, the, hard the, times. The Something needs to happen. Uh, the president's manifesto, he talked about... Um, this issue of uh, pricing of uh, commodities and all that, and the need to keep them stable. 
our people will continue to live in agony if we can't find a way to keep prices mm -hmm. of essential items still. Yeah. Because right now it's like a free for all people and yeah, just doing what they like. Just doing what they like. No one is, uh, is stopping anybody. Today, you can get up and say, okay, mm -hmm. a bottle of uh, pure water, I mean, a bottle of uh, water is, is uh, cost uh, 200 naira. And then... It's almost there. Know, the people are helpless. We've got to do something about this. But for me, there is a greater um, necessity mm. to alleviate the pains that our people are going through. And that is the point that these people are making. You know, uh, the boot to boot guys that look, the most vulnerable in our society, we've got to take care of them. Mm. Because the, the shock absorbers that some people have, the very vulnerable in the society do not have. They live for the day, they don't know where the next meal will come okay. from. And government policy has even made them poorer. You can imagine a situation in which the MBS said that uh, two-thirds of Nigerians are multidimensionally poor. About 170 million Nigerians multidimensionally poor. So, and that was before the removal of subsidy. The removal of uh, petrol subsidy and uh, the, um, the desire to refloat the Naira mm -hmm. uh, have both contributed to worsening poverty in our nation. We know that it's inevitable at some point we must stop paying subsidy because it was hurting the country badly. But there had to be mitigating effects. We have to take steps to reach the most vulnerable yeah. in our society. Otherwise, we will have uh, human lives on our hands. We will have deaths on our hands. And as I've always said on this, I commend the governors who are reaching out to distribute these essential items to people. And we can see them do it. We can see them do it. We saw the governor of Bono State do it. We've seen SEMA in, Yoma, in Yobe State do it at a level that is almost unprecedented. So this is what we want to see across the state because everybody appears to be pointing at the center, pointing at the center. But there is a lot that local government chairmen can do, that state governors can do. Instead of just traveling all around, turning Abuja to your home where there is work to do in your state. There, I mean, governors should be seen to be helping to alleviate the pains of our people. I've had people say, look, in my state, I've not even seen them publicly distribute palliatives. Those are not the kind of but, stories but, we but, need to but, be hearing. But it's true. It's I true. We it's shouldn't true. be hearing such stories now. Mm. Every governor must know the urgency that this deserves. And every governor must play his part in ensuring that our people, the very, very poor in our society, are reached. Because government, by its uh, conditional cash transfer program, cannot reach everybody. Mm. It's not possible. The states have to play their part. That is, no, no, that is what we are not seeing. They have to play their part. And money has been made available to them to do it. So how come it's difficult for us to even see what some of them are doing? Did they, Tony, Tony talked about uh, seeming loss, uh, the humanity. seeming loss of humanity. humanity. You know, yes, yes. It, it's crazy. It's it is. crazy what it we is. do to ourselves. It is. Some of us behave, or this, what is meant for people, we appropriate it. We believe that we have two lives. Nobody has two lifetimes. It's just one mm. that God has given us. That is for those who believe in God. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you, you, you shouldn't behave like this whole thing is for you and your family and your friends alone. When you work for the people, you live in their hearts forever. Yeah, yeah. You live in their hearts forever. It's as simple as that. Uh, okay. So what more can we say here?